so let us discuss this example so in this example we have two matrix d1 and d2 right and with the help of these two matrix one more matrix is defined one function is defined d and we have to prove that d is also matrix on x tell me when we say function is a matrix on x how many conditions it should satisfy it should satisfy four conditions we will recall the conditions and then we will go further so the first condition is non negativity that means d of xy greater than or equal to 0 okay second condition is if distance between two points is 0 if and only if both points should be same third condition is known as symmetry distance between x and y is same as distance between y and x right and the last one is known as triangle inequality that means if you have three points the distance between x z is less than or equal to distance between x y plus distance between y z so that means we have to uh, prove our d satisfies all these four properties then only we can declare it is a metric on x so let us start to do okay we will focus on obviously first property so what will i do uh, here i will write a given information i am focusing on first property okay we have we have d1 and d2 are matrix on x see these two are matrix on x so obviously they will satisfy the condition of matrix definition of matrix so therefore d1 of xy is greater than or equal to 0 as well as d2 of xy that is also greater than or equal to 0 since both of them are matrix right see both of them are greater than or equal to 0 that means if you select maximum of these two then also it is greater than or equal to 0 so therefore maximum of these two maximum of d1 and d2 that is also greater than or equal to 0 right and tell me this is the definition of what this is definition of our d right so therefore i can say implies d of xy that is also greater than or equal to 0 and this is true for all xy belongs to x right so that means in this way we proved our d satisfies the first property so let us focus on second property what is the second property we start with d of x y is equal to 0 okay so see i am considering d of x y is equal to 0 and finally okay if and only if i am doing finally we have to prove that x is equal to y this is our target right so d of x y is equal to 0 what is definition of d of x y let us put that definition here so what is this definition maximum of d1 of x y comma d2 of x y that is also equal to 0 see if maximum of this two is 0 and none of them is negative getting that means both of them should be 0 if maximum is 0 that means both numbers are 0 if they are non negative so therefore d1 of x y is equal to 0 and d2 of x y that is also equal to 0 if and only if see what will happen you know the uh, d1 and d2 both are metric so if they are metric they will satisfy the condition right so what is the second condition says it says d1 of x y is 0 that means x is equal to y so the reason is because d1 and d2 are both of them are matrix on x right matrix on x so because uh, they satisfy the second condition we could write this so let us focus on the third property right so what is the third property symmetry d of x y should be same as d of y x so i'm selecting any arbitrary two points for x y belongs to capital x and i'm starting with i'm starting with d of x y what is our target we have to prove that that is nothing but d of y x okay so d of x y is equal to what let us put the definition maximum of d1 of x y comma d2 of x y right so see d1 and d2 as i told you both of them are matrix so they also satisfy the symmetry property so what can i write tell me so i can say d1 of x y same as d1 of y x and d2 of x y same as d2 of y x since both of them are matrix so therefore i should mention here this is nothing but maximum of 
d1 of y since both of them are same as d1 is a matrix and d2 of x y same as d2 of y okay so the reason is because because d1 and d2 are both are matrix on x okay so tell me this is same as yeah at a place of x y we have got y x y x y x everywhere so this is nothing but d of y x right so we started with d of x y and we finished with d of y x so both of them are same so in this way we proved three first three properties now just we have to prove the last property after that we can declare it is a metric on x so take a screenshot of it and after that we will go further okay please okay so let us continue let us prove the fourth property right so the fourth property we require three points so i'm taking three points x y z belongs to x okay so let us use the given information what is the given information we have d1 is a metric on x so let us write it we have we have d1 is metric on x so as d1 is matrix so matrix on x it will satisfy triangle inequality okay so because of that i can write d1 of xz is less than or equal to d1 of xy plus d1 of yz right since it is a matrix so obviously it satisfies this property so this is less than or equal to see huh, what can i write here so maximum of d1 of xy and d2 of xy getting what i'm doing i'm talking about just first term only okay so first term is less than or equal to maximum of these two it's obvious no it's obvious obviously a is less than or equal to maximum of a comma b if the maximum of these two is a then you will have equality if the maximum of a comma b is b then you will have inequality so this is a part of common sense so because of that i could write this so actually i can write the same thing for a second term also yeah tell me what can i write this is yeah try to say less than or equal to again maximum of d1 of yz comma d2 of yz okay hmm. so this is nothing but maximum d1 of xy d2 of xy yeah we have seen that th thing here so this is nothing but d of xy right and maximum of d1 yz and d2 yz that means this is nothing but d of yz i will call it as equation number one okay so first information we use and we got this equation okay I, it is better to write in this way therefore d1 of xz i am writing in a proper way this is less than or equal to d of xy plus d of yz i will call it as equation number one okay so let us go further uh, okay so first information we use that d1 is a metric on x similarly i will do for d2 also so yeah you can also try to say something so we have we have second information is d2 is metric on x so again i can use the triangle inequality so tell me what can i write so therefore by triangle inequality d2 of xz less than or equal to d2 of xy plus d2 of yz right so yeah we got by triangle inequality so i will apply the same logic here which we, which we have already done here huh? so yeah uh, can you tell me what can i write by applying the same logic so this is less than or equal to right this is less than or equal to maximum of now here we we were talking about d1 so i introduced d2 there so here now we are talking about d2 so i will add d1 also okay so d1 of xy comma d2 of xy correct so i'm talking about just first term huh? so here for second term i can write this is less than or equal to maximum of d1 of yz comma d2 of yz so will you tell me first one okay first one first term is definition of d of x d of xy right since maximum of d1 xy and d2 xy so it's nothing but d of xy by definition similarly by definition this is nothing but d of yz so therefore we conclude therefore we started with d2 of xz right d2 of xz 
is less than or equal to here we have got less than or equal to d of x y plus d of y z i will call it as equation inequality number two so see uh, okay what's one simple example i will give two is less than or equal to a assume that two is less than or equal to a similarly three is less than or equal to a so tell me can i write maximum of two and three this is also less than or equal to a right now since both of them are less than a less than or equal to a so maximum of this two is also less than or equal to a so by applying the same logic so did you notice one thing in one and two expression one and two the right hand sides are same right now right hand sides are same just left hand sides are different so that means d1 is less than this one d2 is less than this one so the maximum of this two is also less than the same term so from one and two from one and two tell me what can i write from one and two maximum of d1 xz comma d2 xz that is also less than or equal to this is less than or equal to left right hand side is same d of x y plus d of y z tell me this is nothing but this expression is nothing but this is definition of our d so there this is d of x z less than or equal to d of x y plus d of y z and this is true for every x y z okay all x y z belongs to s x so in this way we proved fourth property also so therefore d satisfies all properties therefore we can declare d satisfies d satisfies all properties so therefore we can declare therefore d is metric on x d is metric on x in this way we proved okay so make a screenshot of it and after that we will stop thank you bye